Well, I may as well do a review on it because uh, apparently I got a chipmunk in here deciding, or another mouse or something deciding that it's just going to start hammering on my tomatoes now. So, and it's probably been eating my tomatoes. I just didn't notice it. But we'll do a review on this tomato anyway while I still have a tomato. Um, it's the Black Prince. Let me show you up right up on it. I can't see anything in here, guys. Anyway, this is the Black Prince. I don't think this is exactly a good example of it, being this plant has been absolutely tortured uh, by the heat. Um, I'm surprised it's still alive. Uh, it's got like one tomato on it here and there, I think. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get any more fruit off it. This one's got had started getting a little blossom end rot. Um, and that may have been because of me, because I was literally watering these plants to death to keep them cool. I, I, it, the pots were just starting to cook. Um, so I started watering them a lot more than I normally do, and this is the results. You start getting blossom end rot on it. So, unfortunately, uh, that is one of the side effects. I really don't think this is a good example of the um, um, Black Prince. When your tomatoes are really stressed out and they're barely surviving and things like that, um, you're going you're gonna to get this kind of a problem. All right, uh, Your tomatoes aren't going to really give you their true nature. You're just going to get something like this, which is kind of like a tomato, but kind of not like a tomato. So, we'll cut it in half for you and show you what it looks like. I don't know if I can eat it. Maybe it rotted all the way on the inside. Who knows? All right. Let's, let's keep you on here. I didn't even touch the focus button. It just went out of focus. Let's do it sideways on this one. Clean my knife off a little with my fingers. Oh, this one's ripe, guys. Look at that. Okay, so that's the inside of it. You can see the classic, uh, these dark black tomatoes, purple tomatoes, whatever they want to label they want to put on. They're not purple, guys. But what you're going to notice with these darker tomatoes is you're going to see these seeds and the juice around the seeds and seeds. You're going to see this greenness to them. And uh, usually that's the part that kind of gets dark in the middle. I guess if it's exposed to more sunlight uh, directly, uh, they might this tomato might darken up a little bit, but it's not going to be black by any means um, Any part of it really uh, It's what you see here. That's the center core the, the pattern of it in the center Okay, uh, it's basically just like an X. You got the four quadrants with seeds uh, There's the seeds. I'm gonna end up saving some of those seeds Might be the only tomato I get off that plant the whole year. So um what else? Uh, you can see the flesh on the inside uh, is like got like a nice pink color to it. I could guess I could do a taste test on this. Um, I don't know. It's kind of warm. Not much to brag about. It tastes watery. Again, this plant was under a lot of stress, so that might have something to do with it. Um, nothing to brag about. I have to wait until I get a good example to give you a real taste test. This is just really poor. Um, but I don't know what else to say about it. It's, it tastes pretty good. It's got a little bit of an acidy flavor. It tasted really watery. Um, just more water than flavor, that kind of a thing. A little bit citrusy like you got a little bit tangy flavor to it aftertaste and um, just a slight bit of sweetness but other than that nothing to brag about for me really all right so that's your black prince tomato all right the black prince the black prince what a name right <laughs> the black prince of darkness <laughs> well what could I say about it I think that's color enhancement. They probably get brown like this. Uh, that's very possible. I have tomatoes that brown. Uh, I actually, I'm actually growing a variety of tomato that's called the brown tomato. 
which is actually rare. It's very hard to acquire the seeds. I am growing them. I will review them when I get to it. It's a prolific producer, but this is the Black Prince. You can see the top halves of it get nice and dark black, basically, and uh, it gets a very deep, rich, dark maroon red type of color to it. Um, as you can see in the video, that's pretty much what that tomato looked like that you've seen, except it didn't get that black because it's not exposed to the sun. It, these, these tomatoes that get dark, that darkening, you really need sunlight to get that. Direct straight sunlight right on it uh, and you know so anyway I paid $1.40 for the seeds Fedco seeds here's the seed pack guys no light today alright see the date there's your lot number quality seeds this company I love Fedco seeds they're a really good seed company um, uh, let's see, you get 0.2 grams. They don't even go by like 10 seeds or anything. You get 0.2 grams. You get a lot, it's a lot of seeds, guys. You're getting a lot of seeds. All right, so here's the details. I'll just scroll through quick. This is all going to be in the uh, description link in, in the description below. All right, so that's all in the description. And uh, what else to say about it? Uh, you've seen it in the video. Uh, like I say, it wasn't the best example of the Black Prince because I, the plants are just really failing pretty bad. So I'm, usually when the plants are doing really healthy and they're good and everything, you get the full fullness of the tomato. It doesn't look like the tomato suffered during its formation. So um, Plus, I, I kind of picked it a little early because of the mouse problem I'm having. So maybe it gets a little darker on the top of it as it uh, as it fully ripens. I'm not 100% sure. It's very similar to the black crim. If you ever grown a black crim, it's almost the same thing. I'll be reviewing the black crim a little later this year, hopefully. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's uh, the black prince organic tomato from Fedco Seeds.